want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hi, Steve Kuzir, TV writer from such classic shows as Pam Anderson's VIP, Team Knight Rider, and Glenn Larson's Nightman. They brought me in here to talk about the sword and sorcery epic of 1982 starring former governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, Conan the Barbarian. F*** that movie. I'm here to talk about the real sword and sorcery epic of 1982, The Sword and the Sorcerer. <laughs> starring Lee Horsley, a.k.a. Matt Houston. I saw it in the theater with my mom, which was a bit awkward as Lee Horsley, playing an Errol Flynn type character, swings through a window and lands in the lap of several topless women. This was like the greatest thing I'd ever seen in a theater in 1982. to stay, but... I couldn't even look my mom in the eyes for several days, weeks after this film. Now, Conan the Barbarian is steeped in a lot of mythology and stuff. Sword and the Sorcerer, like, it delivered on the title. The sword, it was a three-bladed sword with the middle one shooting out, taking out the villain at the end. Spoiler alert. <laughs> and the Sorcerer. I had nightmares about that guy seeing him in the theater. Really scary looking, especially when he came out of that vat as like a fully formed demon. That was a real sorcerer. <laughs> Lee Horsley was incredible in Sword and the Sorcerer. He was channeling Errol Flynn. I mean, he was wearing that goofy wig throughout the entire movie. It didn't fall off. He probably was having like a Andre Agassi type moments with like trying to keep his hair on during filming. It's amazing he pulled off all those stunts and never lost his hair. Sword and the Sorcerer was put out like a month after Conan the Barbarian. And these guys were smart. They didn't go to exotic locations like Conan did, like Spain, and spend all this money on beautiful vistas. They were going around the block to Bronson Canyon, or best of all, the Mission Inn in Riverside to film the climactic banquet scene where Talon gets crucified. They saved a lot of money and they were smart. This thing grossed $39 million. Listen now of a time long past when sorcery thrived and wild adventure was forever in the offing. deadly sorcerer is called out of nightmare by a ruthless king driven into evil and a mystical sword is forged for a mighty warrior who rises out of legend to topple a kingdom the sword and the sorcerer from the king's dungeons for one night with you. Oh, that's a slim bounty for such a task. Why is that bastard? Three hours time. One man will control the entire civilized world. Cromwell's power, Cromwell's bride, and Cromwell's flesh. A titanic struggle between good and evil that determines the fate of an entire dynasty. <laughs> Dungeons and dragons, serpents 
and splendor. Wizards and witches. Danger and desire. And the mightiest of all heroes. In the greatest of all adventures. The sword and the sorcerer.